Insurgency Sandstorms 1.11 update is officially out for consoles. It adds two new laser beams, I mean guns, a new map, and a new mode. Does it fix stability for past gen? And does it fix any of the bugs that have been plaguing the game as well? Let's take a look. So at 1.04 a.m. this morning, uh, my PlayStation 5 uh, uh, completely updated the Insurgency Sandstorm game, and I jumped right in to play a little bit of Gap and uh, take a look at some of these new weapons. Unfortunately, I ran into a couple of problems. Uh, one, all of the MP4 files that I had downloaded onto my USB when transferred over onto the PC didn't take. I mean, the videos were there, but they were corrupted, so they would they wouldn't work fully so this is PC footage uh, I'm gonna try to get that figured out so in the future I can do this um, without having to go onto the PlayStation to make these videos but um, I also noticed that there was uh, the watch replay in the stats menu in the main menu um, works for PS5 and on a console uh, I had not realized that previously and I'm not sure whether or not it was on there before for or if it was added in this update I have a feeling it wasn't added in the update um, but I really don't know for sure so don't quote me but I thought it might be cool to take some do some cinematic capture uh, with that spectator watch mode um, unfortunately uh, five straight attempts to watch the the game that I played on Gap, uh, the game crashed every single time, and I'm not sure if that was a, or if that was indicative to just that particular mode in the game, uh, if it was the map, if it was the, you know, what it was, but I couldn't use that function of the game at all, uh, which was a bit of a disappointment. So while the game is still crashing, apparently, um, I didn't really have any issues with it uh, during actual gameplay. I had some stuttering. I had a lot more stuttering than I remember having before. Uh, let me know if that's something that you guys are dealing with. I don't know for sure. Again, I'm on PS5. Um, my game has crashed maybe three or four times uh, since I downloaded it in total, which is, I, you know, it's better than a lot of folks have had. Um, but let's get to the stuff that's good. Okay, two new guns in this game, the P90 and the Vector. Both are, as I mentioned earlier, kind of laser beams. So they're they're a ton of fun to use, but you know, one of the things about about this game is is controlling recoil, and there really isn't any, especially with the vector. There, I mean, it's it's a straight up laser beam. So enjoy that while it's while it's still, you know, functioning that way. My guess is they may they may nerf that a little bit, and they may add a little recoil to it. So the new game mode is Ambush, and this is a one-life mode where insurgents try to kill a VIP or kill the entire security force that is escorting that VIP to an extraction zone. Now, as the security forces, you win the round by either uh, escorting this VIP to the extraction or killing all the insurgents. Um, it's a really fun mode in theory, and I know it's something, it's a style of, of mode that a lot of players have wanted. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about it, if you've played it much since this has been out. Again, this is, I mean, it's only been a, a, you know, several hours. So as this update is, is running for the next week or so, I'll be interested to see what you guys think about that. The prone bug is officially fixed, at least for me it was. Uh, I'm able to go prone now without having to stand straight up first. That's fantastic. Um, really, really nice to be able to do that now um, and be able to lay down without having to get your head shot off first. So as I mentioned earlier, trying to do some of the replays via the uh, watch function in the stats menu um, which essentially is a you know a replay for a spectator mode uh, and you can do some really cool cinematic stuff with it i've only been able to do this on pc because as i said uh, this function didn't work and it crashed my game on five straight attempts to try to do it so that's not working unfortunately um, my guess is is that ps4 and xbox one are still crashing in game um, i'd like to know how that's working for you if you are on one of those two um, consoles um, overall I think this update's real nice for the most part, but if it hasn't addressed the stability stuff for, for past gen, um, there's still a big chunk of work to be done. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you stopping by, watching the video, and we will see you out there, and we'll see you later on in the week.